Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're on Wawel Hill here in Krakow, Poland. And see what we have for you are some things that you should know before you come to Poland. Because I'll be honest, it's a fun place to go. You got beautiful cities like Gdansk and Wrocław, and here in Krakow, and you've got some natural beauty like the Tatras Mountains that are in the south, and you got the Missourian Lakes in the northeast. I used to work in Poland a lot back in the early 2000s, so I got to see a lot of the country. And there's some things that you should know as a tourist before you come here. Okay. And the first things first. Let's talk about the language. Look, in Poland they speak Polish. You do not speak Polish. You have no idea how to pronounce Polish. What is an L with a line through it? It's not a T. It's like a W sound, okay? You're not going to get the Polish. So, if you're looking at the languages that people speak here in the tourist industry, obviously English is number one, but also you'll find a lot of German and Russian being spoken as well. So, if you know one of those three languages, you'll be fine, okay? And if you don't, well, probably not watching this video, but, um, You'll still be okay in more of the tourist places like here in Krakow or Gdansk, Warsaw, things like that. Um, in terms of the language though, I do recommend you learn a few words out here because when I've met Polish people around the world and here in Poland, they've been really, really super friendly once I've actually tried to speak some Polish to them and not just the naughty words. And I'm not going to tell you that one that starts with a K. K, you are, you know what I'm talking about, my Polish friends, okay? I'm not going to teach you that. But if you know things like dziękuję, uh, which is like thank you, well, which is thank you, Jakuya. I always kind of mess it up a little bit, but if you can say that. Um, beer is pivo. I mean, little things like that go a long way. And I remember I was here the first time I came here, it was like 20 years ago. And you know, I was a young guy, and, and with my buddy, we're doing our backpacking through Europe thing. And I was here, and I, I heard like dva was two, and then there's pivo, but they were saying something else, piva. I'm like, I go and I go, dva piva, haha, ha, dva piva, which is two pivo, because two beers, because it changed it. The guy was so happy, he's like, oh my god, Forner, and you said it right with a double. And he gave me two free beers instead of just two beers. It's pretty funny. So if you can learn just a few words before you come, it will make things a lot easier. And the people do open up a lot because they can be, be super friendly here. But I think in general for service in Poland, don't expect super lots of service. You'll see a lot of dour faces and things like that. And the service is kind of that kind of thing. But it is one thing to kind of you got to look out for. Now, next thing I want to talk about is money. Coming to Poland is cheap. I'm not saying affordable. I'm saying it is a cheap vacation. And think about it. You can hit beaches in the north. You can go you know, skiing in Zakopane and the Tatras Mountains in the south in the winter. You can see the Missouri Lakes, like I said, go to Warsaw here in Krakow, eat, drink, make merry at a super great price. Um, so I would say, like in terms of going out to eat, I would say it's you know 30% less than in the U.S., 30% less than like Germany and stuff like that. So I've been very happy with the pricing that's here, though the service is sometimes a bit off. Um, another thing you might want to know is in terms of uh, during the during the working hours, you, normal working hours, your know, stores open until eight, maybe nine o'clock. The weekends they might close early. Sundays they might all be closed. So your Sundays are going to be seeing beautiful churches and stuff like that here in Poland. There's a lot of really cool places to visit. Now in terms of money, when you are here, this yes. They're part of the European Union, and so you'd get like a Schengen visa. If you need a Schengen visa, you'd be using that when you come here. Um, but in terms of money, they use they don't use the euro. Okay, they have the Swati. You'll see like a ZL. Um, it's about four to one of the dollar or the euro to give you a rough idea what it is, and 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 you know what you're looking at the price. Um, you can get the money anywhere. There's lots and lots of ATMs, and there's multiple bills. There's you know the 10, 20, 50, 100, and so on. You have those bills, and there's smaller coins like a five, five sweaty coin, two, one uh, sweaty coin, things like that. Um, but the thing is, if you're going to pay for stuff with cash, if you're going to need more than like 20 sweaties and change, they're going to ask for a smaller bill. So try to get the smallest bills you can. I know when you go to the ATM, they give you like hundreds and fifties, but it's hard to find stuff that costs that much, except if you're going out to eat or something like that so try to break it into smaller bills and if you do get smaller bills let's say you pay with the hundred and they give you change save those smaller bills for when you're going to get a kielbasa you know the sausage or going to get you know a beer someplace things like that so you have the smaller bills out there okay now other things you might want to know when you come here when you're going to be eating here i have a whole video on what to eat in poland but some of the bigger things you need to know meat and potatoes is your big thing here pork potatoes potato pancakes a lot of cabbage of course you're gonna have the pierogi which is like their version of a kind of ravioli it might have cabbage and mushroom in it or it might have some cheese or it might have meat with onion in it they're actually really good if you come in the summer a lot of times you can get them with fruit inside oh and they love their sour cream and cottage cheese stuff and you'll see weird cheeses here that look you know funny you'll have them grilled for you and eat it with jam it is really good um but it's a lot of meat potatoes kind of stuff when you are here so it can be kind of heavy you do have a lot of like international kiosks that are here but 
in general, just think meat and potatoes, you know, grandma's kind of food, you'll, you'll be okay. Um, also, when you're here to, dr when you're drinking here, um, you can drink the tap water, though it might not taste very good, but you can drink the tap water, it is the European Union, okay? So, you do drink the water, um, but you don't see people drink it very much. What you see people drinking a lot, actually, is tea, okay? They like it, they like their tea here, they also like their beer, and yes, the vodka, but all those three things are fine, that's kind of your more traditional drinks when you are going to be here. Um, other things you might want to know about when you are here in terms of transportation, train system goes lots of places. There's not a lot of those super fast trains, you know, like in Germany and France. You don't have that too much. You have a lot slower trains when you're here. A lot of people, there's a big bus network and the buses are super cheap when you are here to get you around places. If you're traveling on the weekend with trains, they have weekend tickets you can get to save a little bit more money. So if you're going to do like a round trip trip to places, you're going to be okay. Um, in, place, in terms of places to visit when you are here, but there are places well worth visiting. Like I said, skiing in, in the Tatras and go to Zaka paying the winter for that going to the Missouri lakes and seeing those things there there's you know the castles that are around the country randomly which is kind of funny uh, the, the the beaches in the north obviously only in the summer and I would say June July August more July and August are the best months for that outside it might be a little cold unless you like that polar bear swim kind of stuff Warsaw which was destroyed during the war they've rebuilt the center so it looks just like it used to but outside that it's all steel and glass you have that here in Krakow you have the you know the Royal Hill you have Wawel Hill here when you see the cathedral and all the stuff here there's actually a da Vinci here in Krakow you can check out the town square here is beautiful but if I'm talking beautiful town squares you've got Wroclaw which you've got a beautiful town square maybe you go see the old town of Lublin there's a lot of different places around here actually one of my other favorite places is Krakow my other one is Gdansk in the very north um, you go there the Neptune statue and see those things there's a lot of cool things to see when you are here um, but you will be going around because they're kind of spread out of the country so it will take you some time doing that and the thing is if you're looking at tourism there's not a lot of tourists that come to Poland now there's a lot that come to Krakow there's about 10 million a year that come to Krakow um, for good reason this city is gorgeous and yes you can get you can go see Auschwitz and Birkenau the worst concentration camps out there you can see that but you also can go see a salt mine where they build a city inside the salt mine it is kind of cool that way and so you have all this really different kind of stuff when you come here and yes you will see the communist architecture of the square built you know the rectangle that everyone lived in and stuff like that because a lot of the country really was destroyed during the war but the people are very proud of their country they've really worked hard to rebuild a lot of the destroyed areas so when you see the historic parts of town now Krakow has been lucky it wasn't really that it wasn't really destroyed very much but other places when you see it rebuilt up and you learn about the you know the Warsaw uprising and things like that you really get proud of, for the people here how much they've overcome and you'll see that in the people they are very proud of themselves when they are here um, some other things you might want to look at in terms of when you come here toilets you can throw the toilet the paper down the toilet no big deal you're fine with that um, hotels the, there's hotels and, and there's more and more hotels and hostels popping up all over the country bed and breakfasts actually what we've done is actually stay at some apartments that are here a lot of enterprising Polish people are doing that so you will have those things there for options where to stay as always do read the, re the recommendations and the reviews for these places always with a grain of salt those kind of things out there to help you out but you won't see a lot of tourists excited for in Krakow um, but it is a really nice country to go to and the people if you get to know them like they like I said they can be kind of cold it seems like but once you get to know them they will really take you in and they'll show you the good stuff the bad stuff and all the stuff in between well the bells have started to ring when we're up here on Vava Hill time to head out last little thing I want to tell you about when you come to Poland some safety tips um, driving here the people are very very not looking out for the pedestrian when you are here so you really got to be careful when you are driving um, or when you're crossing the street i've seen a lot of tourists almost get nailed because they think oh i'm on the, the stripe they'll stop doesn't always happen so make sure you are paying attention drinking don't drink in public here you can get in really big trouble for that um, so do watch out for that one but overall i haven't had too many problems anyway if you want to learn more about visiting poland then things that'll shock you about visiting poland the don'ts of here in krakow check us out on our website at waltersworld.com we're also on twitter facebook instagram and we really appreciate your likes subscriptions and obviously the bells are still tolling so it's time for me to head out bye from poland <laughs>